Hey! <laughs> Let's see before I get started. Yes, okay. So, hello everyone. It has been, I can, I can tell you accurately, probably over a month. It's been at least over a month and a few days since I last live streamed on Beam anyway. I streamed two weeks ago on a game, but no, for October, it's been over a month or so. And I know a lot of you are probably like, what happened? I wanted to see people stream art and you were the one source. What happened? <laughs> no. Um, I got sick <laughs> on, let's see, because on the 10th day of October, which, which was the ninth day for October for me, the 11th of October, I got sick. And it lasted for like a week or two. Then I got my brother sick during those weeks. And then he got my mom sick. So not only was I taking care of myself, but my brother, then my mom. And my dad didn't get sick because he's just, he's pretty much invincible. But yeah, and then I got busy with some other things. If you couldn't tell, if you go to my virtual veil and my dimensional veil, you'll see that I uploaded videos. Yay! That's all the videos I had up in queue, so now I can finally start recording new content for both channels, and I'm really happy about that. So I was working on that. I was doing some art stuff. I was in some discords, found a new game, playing with that a little bit. So I got busy, and there were just some days I just wanted some me time and just wanted to relax a little. So, almost a month later, here I am with October. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I'm not sure if, I'll, if you guys follow me on Twitter, but I said I was sick, and I said I was actually going to live stream on this. The 5th of November. Well, two weeks later, here we are. Yeah, sorry about that. So now I'm thinking, are you really going to start streaming every day again? And you're, gonna, you're going to go into December. Actually, today, if you haven't looked at my Twitter, go look at my Twitter, and also please tweet the stream out. I would really like if a lot of people came here. Not to mention, it's gonna be a really long stream. Why? Because since I've missed so many weeks, at least like a month of October, I decided that I'm going to stream practically all day. And I'm gonna be doing multiple arts. So here's what I'm going to do. It is 11.22 a.m. for me right now. I wanted to get up earlier, but I just couldn't. I was hugging the bed. It was called my name. I couldn't do it. But what I'm going to do is from now until like dinner time for me, which is going to be like 7 o'clock or so, I'm going to be streaming. Now, to make it easier for me, I'm not going to just stream like all the time because I feel like my computer might not be able to handle that. Not to mention, to make it easier on me, I want to not be editing. Because I'm going to be doing multiple arts, and October is to do one art per day. So what I'm going to do is I'll live stream whatever art I'm doing for, let's say, the 10th day. Stop streaming, set up real quick, and then start streaming again for that art. That way I can have each indiv individual video and upload to my YouTube. I don't know how far I'm going to get, but I would at least like to get a week and a half's work done. Because worst case scenario, on Saturday, Friday... Or Sunday, I'll have to stream all day again. Because, let's see, I have to do the 10th day, 11th day, 12th day, 13th day, 14th day, 15th day, 16th day, 17th day. If I can get all these done today, that would be great. But any more, I'll be really happy. If I can get, like, 10 days done, that would be awesome. Because, let's see, let me get my calculator. And you can't see it. I have this little thing moving on my computer. It's called a Shime G. Have you ever seen like those little characters that move around on your screen? You can throw them and stuff. I have that moving. I don't know how to get it to where you guys can see it. So I was like, oh well, I'm not sharing my whole screen because I have music playing and I can't get in trouble with copyright. So, <laughs> so let's see. Because if I was supposed to do... No, no, wait, wait. So I actually need to do 22 days. I missed 22 days because October has 31 days. And I did nine of those 31 days. So 31 minus mine, if I did it correctly, yeah. 31 minus mine equals 22. So if I can do 11 today and 11 the next day, then I'll be completely done with October. Now don't, don't get me wrong. I love streaming and I, and I really like streaming every day. Because, you know, it was it actually did a lot of good for me to stream every day. 
but it's November now. We're almost done with November. I don't want to drag this out any longer. I probably should not have even come back and be like, you know, I'm going to finish this, but I want to finish this, and I should finish it. I shouldn't have waited. I should have got back to it as soon as I felt better, but I had stuff to do, and there were just days I just didn't feel like doing much of anything. So yeah, 11 days today, and maybe another 11 days another day, so I'll stream practically all day. But I do want to finish this so I can start streaming other stuff without having to be like, oh, I have to stream every day and that sort of thing. And I can do some more chill streams. I can record. I can actually record more content for you guys. Because at the moment, this just is like on my mind. I have not done October today. I haven't done it t next day, you know, blah, 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 each day. And I would like to get it done. So one, it's off my mind. Two, you guys have content. And I have more art for everyone. So yeah. Enough yapping because I've done it for five minutes now. And I'm gonna tell you what you guys, what we guys are doing today. Blah, I cannot talk, I got too excited. Let me try that again. So I'm going to go ahead and explain what we're doing today. So what we're doing is abstract backgrounds. I know, it sounds awesome, right? So I have this program, and it's free by the way. They actually came and followed me on Twitter, Abstract Curves, you can see it right there, Abstract Curves. They came and followed me on Twitter. Thank you so much, I would have never found you guys if you didn't come follow me. I'm so thankful. So what I decided to do was, I thought I would stream me doing some abstract backgrounds. And this program allows you to make your own backgrounds, just, just basically just sliding some little bars on some gauges, change some numbers, and bam, you have a background. And I love this program so much because I can put it on a transparent background. Now, some of you who may be graphic designers like me, or if you do stuff kind of like that, you know it's kind of important to have really awesome objects, but on transparent background. That way you can put those awesome objects on other stuff. For example, if I were to, I'm sorry, this little thing, right? You, you see me doing this, right? I'm actually moving my little thing around and I just threw him. He's like right over here. He's so cute. I'll show you. I'll do a whole video on him. Anyway, I can actually take this whole thing. He's like these blue spirals, really cool in this background. Well, if I don't want the background, but I want the spirals and I don't have time to try to draw <laughs> or teach myself how to draw, bam, transparent background. Now I have this cool effect that I can put on any other background or whatever, a pro picture, a banner, a wallpaper, I can do it. And I think that's awesome. I really love that. That is such a huge help for me because I'm always looking for stuff that's amazing to put on transparent backgrounds or stuff that's already on transparent backgrounds that I can use for my graphics that I do. And now I can make my own. I love making my own stuff because guess what? I avoid copyright. <laughs> so that's great. And we're just gonna be doing some of that. I do need some backgrounds, because as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and move this here. This background is awesome, but it's not mine. That's the thing, it's not mine. I found it on Google. I think it's free, but that's the thing. I do love it a lot, but I can't be getting in trouble for copyright. And you know, hey, you didn't ask for permission, that sort of thing. And backgrounds just kind of make things pop. And I don't know how to draw at the moment, so I can't make my own backgrounds. And voxel art backgrounds, I'm not sure how to do that currently at the moment. Or pixel art backgrounds, so there's that. Not to mention, I'm, I mostly want to do props and designs and character designs, not so much like terrain and backgrounds and mountains and stuff. So this is actually really helpful for me, and I love it. So what, you, what we're going to do is we're actually going to keep the background just for a second. It kind of adds to the effect. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and choose one of these pre-made. They're not fractals. They're like uh, abstract background, backgrounds. Now, before I continue, this is somewhat free. This is a demo. I know I said, I said it was free, but this is actually a demo. and It's not a 30-day demo. Thank God. Thank you so much, Abstract Curves. But you can still do what you want in the demo. All I need really is to make my own little backgrounds and possibly have a transparent background, possibly not. And that's pretty much it. The only thing you can't do is like save your presets. See, these are presets. I can still save an image, you know, save and then probably reopen it, but I can't save a preset and then like share to everyone else. Here's a dinosaur I made. Here's, a, here's the preset. Everyone can go use it and change the colors and blah, blah, blah. No, you can't save your own presets and that sort of thing. But otherwise, you can do everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a background I like. Not to mention everything's kind of done for me. I just have to change the colors. 
because as you can see, everything is different. See, this is flat, this is somewhat 3D, you could say. And it's just all these things. So I have to find one, excuse me, move little thing. There we go. <laughs> I wish you guys could see me throwing him, but you can't. Oh. I kind of want it to be a background that will cover everything. Like, this is all off to the side. I want one that's kind of everywhere. And I really like cubes, so we'll see. We can try this. And I'll show you guys how to do this. By the way, this live stream, when I finish all these live streams, they're going to go on my Dimension of the YouTube channel, so please go check that out. But also, I'm going to put the links to the programs and, and all that stuff. Some of them anyway. I'll just tell you, because you can go look it up, actually, Abstract Curves. And I am a big fan of purple. So let's get my own purple here. Because it has to be a certain kind of purple. That, there we go. Okay, and we... See, I wish you would let you, like, choose. Because I, I can only do the clipped areas color boost. And I don't necessarily want the pink. Because I do like pink. I'm just not a huge pink fan. Transparent background, and there there we go. But I actually want to change this just a little bit. So here, I can change the curve right here. So it's at 66, remember that, 66. And you can see over here what it looks like. So we're actually going to do this. Let's see. That might not look good. Eh... Bring a bit of shape back. Okay, so then let's try this one. This does that. <laughs> this does that. Uh. And it can take a little time to update. And my music stopped, actually. Let me fix this. There we go. Ooh, wait, wait, that could be cool. I know I wanted to be cues, but shh, don't worry about it. <laughs> now, since I'll be live streaming all day, I am going to have to sometimes step away to do some other stuff and also check some things like chat that I have. Yep, here we got to check chat for a second here. Sorry, guys. Okay, so give me a second, I have to do something. I just shared my art to a Discord group, or the link, so I'd like to give a shout out to Spring Gnome from the Blade Ballet Discord group. So thank you for letting me share my link, it means a lot. So yay! Okay. Alright, so back to this. This actually looks really cool. I want it to be bigger though, and I don't know how to do that. Um, that looks really cool. I'm like, I don't know what it is, but it's called abstract for a reason. <laughs> and let's see, that's 61. Whoa. Ooh, that is cool. That's not cool. That is. I quite like that, but it needs to be bigger. It needs to cover the whole screen. 
So I need to fix that. Oh, dang. <laughs> This could do something. 31.2. Let's see. I'm at the wrong, wrong one. Well, this isn't doing much of woohoo. <laughs> no. Ah, so cool. Ah. We got the curls again. If I could I make someone's hair out of abstract, I'm gonna do that. I'll remember that. I'll have to come watch this. Okay. Then let's do mm, I think I done goof. <laughs> let's try this, because I'm curious. Oh my gosh. Then let's do that. Back to here. Oh wait. Oh, that's so cool. I have played around with this, but not a whole, whole lot. So this looks super cool to me. Oh, that's so awesome. I love that. It needs to be bigger, though. That could be such an awesome background. Uh, let's see. Skew. So this is at 37. What does this do? Oh. That could be interesting. I love that. Let's see. And then... Mm, no, I don't think I'm going to get too much out of this. Yeah, no, it does better, like, right there. That, I just, that, I love that so much. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't get words out. Um, see, I don't know what this stuff does. In a way I do, in a way I don't. So we're going to go ahead and save this. Because I don't want to lose that. Now the thing is, I don't know if I can go back and edit this or not. So that would be interesting. Um, I really love purple. <laughs> Preparing image for save. And I don't know if I can go back and edit this or not. That might be the downside as well. What is this? Open. Okay. Now what happens if I change the background? So what if I made, the, what if I made it black? <gasps> That's awesome. I am so doing this. Now wait, wait. Let's see what some of the colors are. Before I get too excited. Oh, T looks awful. T just looks awful. Pink looks bad. Green in general just looks bad. Nope, going with black. Oh, guys, that's so awesome. Like I'm like I am. I do like light and happiness and all, and all that. But I love dark backgrounds. I just. I do. I'm not. I'm not a fan of bright backgrounds. Let's see here. And it is derping. My my um. What is it? Um. Beam. Beam is derping. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. Beam is derping. Okay. So let's see what this does. We're going to put in 50. Oh. Oh. Okay, I see. So then what does this do? That is cool, but I kind of like this better. Also, you couldn't tell I do love abstract art. <laughs> I do. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, let's see. Mm. 
I feel like that's cool. Let's do this. Let's find one I like, like that. And then we'll move this. No, I don't like that. <laughs> I just like how it crosses over like that. Yep, okay. And that's the phase shifts. So what is this then? 6.46, remember that. Oh. I like 8.803. I like that too. Okay, so we're going to save that. I mean, that right there is really cool. So now we gotta wait for that to save. And my music stopped again. <laughs> Can't keep up with music, cause I'm not doing a playlist, I'm just doing some random songs I've been listening to recently. So I should probably make a playlist. Oh, actually before I mess with that, let me... That's not as cool. That is, though. Now, what does this do? Oh. Oh. It's too thin. I would have liked it, but it's too thin. That's cool. So we're going to save that as well. Now, the test, because I have no idea if I can go back and open this or not. I don't know. I hope I can. I mean, I love her, but I don't want to try some other colors in a second here. Oh. I'll save because I think I'll be using it. And that's all I'm doing, really. I'm just going to make a couple backgrounds for myself so I can use, you know, for virtual veil, dimensional veil, and all that. Now, can I save this color? Yes, I can. I want to save that because I want to try it in, in pink. And again, I have a certain pink I like. Hey, <laughs> that is awesome. That actually looks really good. Wow. Like that looks really sharp. Uh. Okay. I'm actually going to open up a notepad so I can put these numbers down because I want to save this. There we go. Now let's. I do not know what I did. Okay, Ben. <laughs> okay, I see. Eh. So that's awesome. So now I'm curious. Wait, did I, did I mess with this one yet? Yeah, I did. So now this look different.
Okay, so I think I got a lot out of that. So now here's the big test. Let's try opening one of these. What? I want to open this. And can I edit it? Let's try opening number one. I don't think I can. Let's try a new thing. It... Oh, stuff is lagging. Okay, whoa. And let's try opening one of these. I don't think I can, actually. Oh. Oh. So that means the purple backgrounds I made, I can't make them pink, which is kind of sad. Oh, no. It also means that I didn't save it as a transparent background. Oh, that's great. And they're so good. I'll probably make them again off camera. For now, I'll deal with it because I wasn't trying to make transparent stuff. I was trying to make backgrounds. So for now, I'll deal with it. No. Okay. So let's try another one. I scared myself. I kind of want to try some with this. Now the thing is, that's okay, it's kind of loud. I don't know if I can't open images because I'm, I have the demo, so I might have to consider getting the full thing. And I'm actually going to look at that right now because I'm curious. Not to mention it'll be information for you guys, so let's see. This music, though. Okay, so let's see how much it costs. Oh, that's right. I forgot. It's not all that bad. Yeah, so let me tell you guys what the demo has. So there's no image size limits, which is great. You can save images in high quality. There is scripting support. That's only plugins. And you can pop up. And the only other thing is there is a pop-up nag screen saying, purchase the game, not the game, purchase this, purchase this. It also works as a standalone application and plugin because you can actually put it in Photoshop. So... But if you buy it, and it's only $20, I think it's worth it. Yeah, it's an image generator. It has all the demo features. You can create, edit, and delete palettes. I can create, edit, and delete presets and panel presets. Create, edit, and delete galleries. I'm sure that means I could probably uh, save my creations and then open them again, because at the moment, I can't. And also, there's no pop nagging. There's no nagging screens of saying, like, buy me now, buy me now. I'm just like, no. So I'll have to put that on my Christmas list or something. We'll see. For now, I'll be fine. Okay, so... Yeah, see, here it is. Demo version reminder, this demo has some limitations. You can upgrade... Yeah, 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 proceed with demo. It actually... I'm actually okay with it. I don't mind the nagging thing, so... And we are going to put my purple color in, or my... Purple. If I could say it correctly. And actually, we're going to put pink in instead because I have three purples and one uh, pink. That is such a. I almost. I had almost. I accidentally clicked. 
Okay. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so back to the color thing. And let's try not accidentally clicking. Okay. And let's choose a black, cause that is not, is that black? Or is this black? That's black. Oh, this is why today's Tuesday. I was like, do I have the garbage truck running? <gasps> yes, yes I do. And of course they have many other palettes. I just haven't chosen. Oh my gosh. I haven't chosen one. For now, I use the defaults. And it's nice. Not to mention, I can make my own colors because I know how to make my own colors. So that's too busy for me. Can I change? Am I even? Oh, I am changing stuff. Just not a lot. My music stopped again. Uh, what should I listen to now? Listen to that. This is just too busy for me. I think. That could be cool. I hope it is. By the way, this is the real-time preview. I'm not basing it off of here. I'm basing it off of here. Just so you guys know. A little busy. That could look pretty. I just realized it looks really red on your guys' screen, but it's really not. Yeah, yeah, no, that's way too much. It might just look much to me, but I have to remember when I'm streaming and stuff, it's gonna be behind, so it's not gonna matter. But okay, no, 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 that is too much. I like sharp edges. Mm. Let's just see the curls. I want to see. And how long have I been streaming for? 32 minutes. Okay, so I might stop soon. Because remember, I'm streaming all day and I want to at least stream 11 times today. Then I'll be golden. Now, I don't want this to feel rushed. Don't get me wrong, guys. I don't want this to be rushed. But I do want to get stuff done. Now, I have to remember. Okay, I'm streaming from now until like 7 or so. That's plenty of time. Because, okay, it's about to be 12. 12 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6, 6 to 7. I got like 7 hours here. And my streams are usually about an hour long. So that's 7 already. Not including this one. It's some of them might be 30 minutes. So if I divide. It's basically. Yeah, okay. Because if I, if I do 30 minutes to equal one hour, that's two. And so two times plus seven hours, not plus uh, times, is 14. Basically, my point is, I'll be able to do it if I cut my streams down to like 30 minutes or so. If some are, are an hour, that's fine. Who knows, maybe, because sometimes dinner is at 7, but sometimes it could be at 8 or 9, so it really does depend. But no, this is weird. Oh, that's pretty. Let's see. It could almost work. Maybe not this one. This is one. This one is way too busy anyway. Of course, this also means that in my spare time, I'll make some free backgrounds for you guys to choose as well. That could work. Mm, that needs to be symmetrical. But yeah, I'll be making some backgrounds too for you guys to use. It'll be free. All I ask is that you credit me. But no, the, the stuff I'm making right now is not for you guys. This is for me. You cannot use it. But I'm saying, like, if I post it on DevNet and I say, hey, you guys can use this as a background for whatever purpose and all that, go ahead. At the moment, no, what I'm making, no, no, I'm sorry, you, you can't use that. Not at the moment, anyway. 
Let's try grass. I'm really curious for grass. Now I'm just looking at the music again. Uh, at least I want to make two more backgrounds. At least two more. And then since this is really cool, I think I want to learn fractal art. I have so much art I want to learn. It's all 3D though, because fractal art is really amazing. If some of you guys have seen Doctor Strange, there are actually a lot of fractals in there because everything repeats itself. And a fractal is basically an image that was created using mathematics. I just knocked over a bottle in the trash. So you create these images using mathematics, and it's basically creating shapes that repeat themselves over and over. So every time you try to zoom in on them, the, the shape repeats itself, so you would never actually get to the closest you could. Like, you know what happened? Okay, let's say a character a fan art of Mario. If you zoom in all the way, you'll see, like, maybe, I don't know, a button or something. But if you zoom in on fractal art, the pattern just keeps repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating. So you'd never really find the center. It's kind of infinite. It's a paradox. Okay. It's a little thin. It's just a little thin. If I can make it thicker, that'd be great. Because I really like the pattern already. I just want it thicker. Okay, 32.0. I can make it look really sharp though, which I do like sharp images. Nothing blurry. I mean, it depends on the blurriness and like what it's being used for. If it's for depth of field, then okay, but otherwise no. And I can't necessarily look at blurry images when they're not supposed to be blurry. It kind of messes with my eyes. So like, it doesn't make me feel motion sick. It just messes with, you know, does it look clear to me? And then I keep and I start questioning, does it look clear or not? So I start looking at other things that are clear. It just messes with my vision sometimes. That looks clear. Now I'm curious. Okay, that adds a little bit of color, some splash color there. You can see the little pinks there. Yeah, let's see. You can also view here. And what can I change some sizes? No. Okay. 54.0 Nope, so that's as sharp as it can be 7.0 I really do not want it to be blurry The thing is, I keep saying I want it to be thicker because it's just, it's just too thin for my liking. I want it to be a bit thicker and a little more complex. More shape, basically. I Let's put it back to seven. My little thing's still walking on here, the Shime G. <laughs> Discord just did something. Oh, it's got an update. Okay. I'm actually curious, what does this do? Oh. Makes it darker, sweet. Anyway. Oh, that's right, my Discord's updating. Anywho, let's see. Uh, oh, here we go. No, this could be nice. Mm, kind of like right there, I'm assuming. Let's see how that looks. My stream is really far behind. Let's refresh that. <laughs> 
throw this little guy. Whoops, that failed. Let's do that one. Okay. Uh, no, now it's blurry. Let's do that. Maybe it won't be as blurry. I do recommend this program for anyone who's trying to make their own backgrounds, whether it's for profile pictures, YouTube, live streams, anything like that. I do recommend this program. That could work. Because I really do love it. And that makes it smaller. It's kind of not what I want, but we'll see. But yeah, I totally recommend this. I think it's worth the $20. Even if you don't have the money at the moment, or you don't want to pay for it at the moment, the demo is still very worth it. Okay. I like that. It might just, it might be complex enough. Let's see. Oh, that didn't change anything. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it didn't change anything. By the way, I just want to remind you guys, because I'm sure I will probably be done here in a few minutes, that if I do, when I do start streaming, it doesn't mean I'm done, it just means that I'm creating a new file for when I start streaming for whatever other art I'm doing. So that way you can go back and just see the abstract stream, and then you can just go see the voxel stream and blah blah blah. So that way you have to go back and watch the whole thing and try to figure out which one where is it? Where is it in the stream? Did you do it? Not to mention, it'll be easier on editing for me. I think this is good. So we're going to go ahead and save. Name it five. Because that's so perfect, I really don't want to mess with it. And now we got to wait for it to save. Yeah, the color looks really faded on your guys' side, or my side. Might just be my, my computer. I think it is my computer. But either way. And I do plan to upload these to DevonArt so you guys can see them up close, what they look like. I wonder.
Why this thing's taking forever? <laughs> Wonder why. Oh, but it's not crash. Oh my gosh, if it crashes. So how are you guys doing? I hope you're enjoying the stream. And how's your day, actually? Wow, that thing is really slow. So who wants to start a conversation? Who here likes abstract art? Come to think of it. Because I personally love abstract art, but more in the ways of fractals and the kind of backgrounds you see in the presets. Not so much as, like, something someone has drawn. I'm not hating on it or anything like that. But I just like fractals for abstract and this kind of thing. That's just what I prefer. And then, of course, you have some of the people who do really well. <laughs> it's like, wow. It's so slow, oh my gosh. Well, it's not that slow, there's nothing better to do, and there's no conversation in the chat at the moment, unless some of you want to be a rebel. Rebel? Wow. Rebel. Um, self advertising. No. <laughs> I do want to say, though, go check out my channel, Dimensional Bell. Yeah, go check out my channel, Dimensional Bell. So you can see this come back up. Not what I meant to say. I'm having such a hard time talking. I'm not even sick. I'm thinking I'm not sick, but I'm like... No, so go check out my channel, Dimension of Bell, if you want to see more art stuff like this. I'll definitely be recording me doing more of this, abstract art, especially with this program. Not to mention, if you miss the stream, you can go, go ahead and check my channel. But all the way up on there with the information of what program I use, how long it took me, where to go find this stuff, and all that. And also check out my art platforms. I'm on Steam, DeviantArt, and Sketchfab. You go to my Dimension of Vell, all those links and, and other art platforms I'm on will be in the description. I'm um, in the description of my profile. No, it's not. <laughs> I try not to do that. Just checking something. Oh my gosh, you're so close to finishing. Please, please, please finish. It is so cold in my room. I mean, I got this big sweater on, this Argyle sweater, yes, but I'm still cold. By the way, we might actually use something new I got. It's not my microphone. It is this thing. You're probably wondering, wait, what is that? Some of you don't know what it is, I'm sure. This is, that was a drawing tablet. And drawing tablets are mostly used 
in place of a mouse. So instead of using a mouse to like draw on the computer, you would use a drawing tablet. You can also do it for 3D sculpting, voxel art, and some other stuff. I got it. Um, it's like 12 years old. And I, I actually, my dad gave it to me because he actually bought it 12 years ago or so. And he tried it once and didn't like it. And it just kind of sat there. So I was like, hey, can I use it? I'm doing smart stuff. And he was like, yeah, sure. I don't have any need for it. Here's now. I was like, yes. So I'm still trying to set that up. I haven't had all the time in the, oh, good, it's saved. I haven't had a lot of time to properly set it up, but it's enough to where I can, I can plug it in and just draw. There's some buttons that don't work because I didn't set it up properly yet, but yeah. And hopefully it's okay because it's 12 years old, but I was like, dude, why wouldn't you go and sell it? Sell it to get your money, sell it to get more money from it, or get your money back. I was just so confused, but I was like, in, in another way that I was like, thank you for keeping it, now we don't, we don't have to pay for like the ones today because they're so ex expensive. I know they have some that aren't that expensive, but still, I was just like, yes, because <laughs> after 12 years and he's giving it to me, it's basically free. I want to see how purple looks. Because it looks better, I'll be amazed. But then again, see, I love hot pink, and I used to really love it, but now I really love purple. This music, though. Also, soon I will post my Discord chat. I do have Discord chat so you guys can come talk to me. So not just YouTube comments or on my streams or Twitter, you can come talk to me anytime. I'm still setting it. Oh, that looks awesome. You, you can just come talk to me. You know, I'm still setting it up because I originally I was... It's gonna take forever, isn't it? Ah, oh, it is. Originally, I was gonna have two different channels one for Virtual Vote, one for Dimension Vote, because we both do different things. But then I was like, no, I don't want to manage two different channels. I just realized how to make it more fat. Not fat, I'm sorry, thick. I just realized I'll be so mad if it works. Anyway. So I was like, no, I don't want to manage two Discord channels or servers, because including mine, I'm already in nine. I'm already in nine, and I'll probably be joining more. Just depends. So I was like, no, I'm not managing two. Not to mention, if, it, if they get really popular, then no, not doing that. Not to mention, some of you might do gaming and art like me. What do you post? Did you go to both channels? I don't think it's kind of... I don't, see it as being that worth it so I was like no no you know what instead I'll just combine both channels I didn't even make the other channel I was just thinking about it so I have to add more stuff to the original channel I had add more roles or ranks and mess around with that sort of stuff so like if you have a certain rank you'll be able to see the gaming channels but not the art channels if you have an art rank you'll be, see, you'll be able to see the art channels but not the gaming channels you have a certain kind of rank you'll be able to see both, if not all. So there's that. So I have to get that all set up. I really want to get that set up so I can start talking to you guys and it'll be awesome. Yeah, it's taking forever. In the meantime, I mean, I could probably go watch a video. I'm not going to, but I probably could. Um, Trying to pick out some music. Oh, we'll do that for now. Why would? Why are you taking so long? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just realized something. Ooh, okay, so now I have more stuff to do. 
No, because I just realized, one, I never celebrated reaching 100 subscribers on YouTube. Two, I'm supposed to be doing a giveaway, and I haven't done it. So the giveaway can be in celebration of the 100 YouTube subscribers, but I still haven't done it. And it's been like a month or so. If not a couple months. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Need to work on that. And it's only in the in the giveaway the amount of people that are going to be able to get the giveaway prize, it's only two or three people. So You know, out of out of a hundred subscribers, only three people, two or three people can get it. That's a little, yeah. But I do plan to make like a wallpaper or something, and I'm supposed to celebrate fifty so fifty watchers on um, Devon Art, and I'm supposed to do something for ten followers on Beam. It's been months for all of that stuff. Yeah. Okay. The stream has actually gone longer than I planned, so I'll have to cut this one a little short. I'll probably mess with like one or two more settings and then that'll probably be it. And next I'll be doing... Not entirely sure, this is kind of just open, so what do you guys want me to do next? Here's what I can do. 3D posing, that means I can pose a 3D character, you know, like... That sort of thing. So I can do either 3D posing, 3D animation, voxel art... Not abstract, not not back to back like that, not yet. Um, graphic design, pixel art, and I think that's it. Pixel art, voxel art, graphic design, three D posing, three D animation. Oh, and possibly two D drawing, maybe. So here's what I'll do. do that for now. Well, here's how I'll do it. Okay, there we go. So that is a poll and you guys have to vote. So I can either do 3D art next, that includes voxel art, 3D posing, 3D animation, or I can do 2D art next, that includes pixel art, voxel art, and drawing. That's all I can do for 2D and 3D art. So let you guys, I'll let you guys pick. And if no one picks, I'll just 
pick myself. <laughs> I'll just pick it myself. Okay, and I want to see what this does. Yes. Yeah, I'm still streaming. Oh, do I want to eat? No. Yeah, I'm about to stop in a few minutes, so. Ooh, is that gonna be really sharp? Ooh, if it's really sharp, I'll be so happy. How sharp is that gonna be? I was really sharp and really crisp and clear. Okay, I don't think there's any votes yet, but we'll see. Oh. I see. So now it's like really flat. Which is not necessarily bad. Oh my gosh, someone actually voted. <laughs> Ow. I think I popped something. <laughs> Thank you, whoever. Oh, wait. I think we're doing 3D art. Okay. Ow. <laughs> Did that hurt? Oh my gosh. Okay, so it seems like someone voted. I can't tell. Like the, It went away way too fast. I'll have to go back and watch the replay. But I think someone actually chose the first option. So... Since we're doing that, and this is going to last a little over a minute. Okay, so here's the, sorry, that scared me. Here's the next poll. What kind of 3D art do you guys want me to do? Beamly allows you to do two options. Or So you guys have to pick either voxel art or 3D posing and 3D animation. If you choose three, 3D posing or 3D animation, I'll make another poll asking which one do you, do you want? 3D posing or do you actually want 3D animation? So that's how it's gonna go, but you know, do you want 3D posing slash animation or do you want voxel art? So there's that poll. Go ahead and answer the question. That does make it better, I knew it. So yeah. We'll see here, oh that looks really good. My little thing is just said. Well, he was sitting there. He's not sitting there anymore. <laughs> nope, that ruins it. <sighs> totally ruined. And I actually want the edge fuzziness to go down a little. Oh, I see, no one chose it. It's just showing me, okay. So no one voted. <laughs> no one voted, okay. Um, yeah, okay. So what am I supposed to do then? Uh, oh, I have some stuff to attend to. Give me a second. Hold that thing is loading. Oh, that actually looks really good. So we're going to save that over the other... No, we're not. We're going to... Um, we're going to do... Oh, oh we're going to make this pink, actually. Unless the purple looks better. We'll see. No, we're doing pink. Okay. Okay. 
and speed that. So now we have three pink backgrounds, and we have four purple backgrounds. It's not what I was trying to do, but it's fine. But I think that's good. Uh, it's saving. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> saving. All right. So next, I kind of feel like doing 3D posing or 3D animation. So we'll do that next. And I have a different model this time. I'll have to look at something, but I got a different model. So yeah. So next, we're actually going to be doing 3D posing or 3D animation. 3D animation. I might do animation. It just depends. Just depends. I might do posing instead, just because I, I remember I'm trying to do like 11 today. Not to mention, if I do 11 another day, I could I could still do 3D animation. So if I don't do it today, don't worry. There's another day I'll do it. So this is gonna save, and then I'm gonna stop the stream. Remember, I'm gonna stop the stream, and then I'm gonna start it back up. That way you guys can just go watch that specific video for that certain art. Not to mention, it makes it a lot easier for me to upload. Now, after the stream, it will take me a few minutes to get back to streaming because I do have to eat some food. I haven't really had anything. I mean, I had the two pieces of bread, but I mean, they were really good pieces of bread, but I need something else. So I'm gonna have lunch with my brother and mom. And then I'll be back to streaming for countless hours. But until then, you guys can go to my Twitter and look at the tweet I had wrote. And retweet it, like it, share it. You can just like, you know, put it on your phone and show it to some of your friends and family and all those people. And post it in other Discord chats or Skype chats or whatever. And just get the word out that I am streaming art, all kinds of art, all day. And you can come and chill. Like, you don't have to even watch me. You could just be lurking we can just be talking even if you don't enjoy the art i'm doing we can still be talking but i think it'd be kind of fun so if you do art you like to watch some people do art don't hesitate to share the stream and come on and chat with me so yeah I also love to be surrounded by other artists and talk with other artists. So, if, hey, if you are an artist geek like me, let's chat. <laughs> okay, well, this is almost done. I'll probably just end the stream and just let it save off camera because <laughs> I do need to eat, so while that's saving. Yeah. Yeah, it's taking way too long. So anyway guys, this was an hour long. I was trying not to do that. <laughs> but anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the stream. This is my first abstract thing ever and I really enjoyed it. Maybe I'll do it again later today, it just depends. I'm gonna try not to do some things back to back, but it's 11 things. If you count abstract are in like the Six of the things I can do, that's seven. So I'm gonna have to repeat some things. Yeah, I'll have to repeat some things. So it just depends. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Make sure you go check out my YouTube channel, Dimensional Veil. If you're already watching it from Dimensional Veil, leave me a comment letting me you know you're watching it from there and you enjoyed it. What art should I do next? Give me a few arts that you would like to see more of or you wanna see me try. Because then it helps me plan out which ones I should do. Not to mention, it lets me know that what you what you guys enjoy. It lets me know that. So comment that below and stay tuned for more streams. I'm streaming all day today and then probably I'll try either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday to stream all day again. Even though I'm aiming for 11 streams today, I might not reach that. Just depends. Because I have to do 22 if you divide it by like three days. You, you're like um, one off. Yeah, because, yeah.
that's seven. So I, I wanted to do seven streams in three days. I can do that, but I would really love to do 11 streams in two days, but it just depends. Either way, you might either see another day or two more days of me streaming all day. So we'll see. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for coming. I will see you all in a little bit. Remember, I'm eating lunch, so I'll see you all in a few minutes. Bye.